guys welcome back to the channel thanks very much for joining us again today i've got a short video demonstration for you today that will show you how to add a google review to squarespace so how to embed google reviews for a business or a site or whatever it is uh, into your squarespace site just before i get into it very quickly there's a link in the description to this video which will take you to a free trial version of the squarespace editor so if you're interested in trying any of this out or looking into squarespace that's a perfect way to do so for today's tutorial, you're going to need to log in and join ElfSite. So ElfSite is a free widget creator, and you don't need to pay anything for it. Uh, we're not affiliated with them in any way. They just seem to be one of the most popular ones in that market, and it just seems to work really well as well. Um, it's got multiple widgets built into it. As you can see, the list in front of me here, it's got a bunch of different features. However, if you do want more than one of these functions, you do have to pay. You get one widget for free for use on your website. Um, so that's great for us for today, just to embed Google reviews. However, if you want to make use of more, then it's going to cost you. It's very cheap. It's only $5 a month. Um, and like I said, I'm not linked to them in any way. They don't sponsor us. So when you log into Alfsite, uh, if you hit Applications, navigate to that menu, and then hit Google Reviews. If you can't see it, then you can search for Google Reviews here, for example, if it doesn't come up, okay, on your list, and then you'll hit Create Widget. That will then take you through this little wizard, which allows you to step-by-step -step design what you want your reviews to look like when they appear on your website. And um, you've got a couple of kind of very standard options here. Um, so pick the one that you like the look of the most. I'm going to go stick with this carousel widget here and then continue with that template then in the bottom left hand corner. And then it asks me to input the business that it wants to show the reviews for. So I've used them before on this channel. Maybe you've seen them on other tutorials, but one of my favorite restaurants, I'll give them a little plug here. Um, I'm going to use them just as an example. Okay, so it then, if you look on the left hand side, that's the source tab, allows you to modify the layout. Um, obviously, you can choose from some different presets that it's got there and set the width for it. Um, title and header is available there for you as well. Uh, review it in terms of how you want the review to appear. So you can select from like three different styles there, it allows me. And then what what kind of information about the reviewer and the review itself that you want to display so you could just maybe you know hide the author and name for example if you want them to be anonymous or just show a picture or just a name for example and that update then takes place live here on the preview um so you've also got then the appearance of it you can change the color to suit your color palette for your site as well as a accessing these customized elements here. So with your title, had a rating review, and obviously within there, then you've got all of these colors that you can modify as well. You've got a couple of basic settings if you need access to any of that stuff as well. But for today's example, and for what you need, just to display a basic review, that is enough. And then when you hit add to website, it asks you then what kind of plan usually. And if it does do that, make sure that you pick the free plan, it's called light, and then just make sure that you select that, okay, if it does bring that up. However, it's taking me straight here because I've done this before. Uh, and it shows me then the code for that widget here in this little window. So to copy it, I just need to single click, and that's all I need then from Alfsite. I can then go back to Squarespace and embed this little piece of code into my site as a block. So into the website editor, navigate to the area on the page that you want to add the review to. And then if you hit this add block button in the top left and select code, okay? So that then, you know, brings in this kind of generic little code window. So I'm going to centralize that, put it down underneath these two objects, and then hit that little pencil button there to edit. Okay, so that's where you can input the code that we've just copied. And um, so I'm going to select the code that's already there, delete it, and then just hit command and V on my Mac or control and V on a PC. And you can see sometimes I've had this issue in Squarespace where it says, you know, script disabled, and it gives various errors. But and sometimes it works first time. And you'll see now if I hit done and then save those changes, you kind of saw it snap in there very quickly if you had a quick eye um, and scroll down and you can see that the, you know, it's worked. So for whatever reason, and whether it's because I'm in Safari or on a Mac, uh, sometimes in that preview mode, the reviews just don't show and it says script disabled. Um, so if you hit edit again, sometimes, yeah, so it's still disabled and then, you know, it pops up automatically then. So you can see it still, still says script disabled, but I can still see it. And then if I drag that 
out a little bit. Um, as far as I'm aware, that error with script disabled is is just like a little bit of an inconvenience, really. It's not caused an actual error anywhere for me. So if I centralize that a little bit, as you can see there, I just stretched out the box so it accommodates that whole carousel. And if I save that again, go down to preview, and then scroll down to that, you can see there it is, fits perfectly, looks great, and that's free, you know, to do. And that concludes our video tutorial. So if you want to access Squarespace as a website editor and access your free trial version, there's a link to do so in the description. If you enjoyed that and you want more of this kind of content, like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any specific requests for any future videos, you can leave them as a comment down below as well. Thank you very much.